How you doing? My name's Dave, and if your spring is sprung, you can call me Davey Poo, the mobile music minstrel. How you doing? Today, we are going to do a swift sprint through Eventide Spring. That's right. Eventide just released a spring reverb emulation, and this thing is fantastic. It is the same quality as all of their others, and we're going to sprint through it. So let's go right now. Let's check it out. Okay. Here we are in 8 Matrix, as always. I have a nice dry electric piano sound, as always, from Neo Soul Keys Studio 2. Okay, I am running it through Eventide Spring. I have Adam Piano Roll here also playing something mildly interesting so that I don't always have to have my hands on the keyboard. I can uh, have it play and I can tweak the knobs for you. So let's look at Spring and see what we can see here. Let's go through the controls. Starting at the front, we have the gain, okay? The incoming gain. How loud is the incoming signal into the app? Right next to that, we've got verb mix, okay? You're mixing between the completely affected signal, the wet signal, or the completely unaffected signal, the dry signal. All the way to the left is dry, all the way to the right is wet, and so that's how you mix it up. Next, we've got the decay. That's how long it takes for the reverb to trail off into nothingness. Do you hit a note and have it go, how? And it goes right away. Or do you hit the note and have it go, how? And have it take a very long time to die out. That's the decay, okay? So you're sending how long the trail of the reverb is with decay. Right there, next to that, you've got tension. If you understand how a spring reverb works, what it is, it's an actual spring that has is under tension inside a little box. And when you send sound into that box, it makes the spring vibrate and it creates a sound of reverb. In fact, very similar sound is the sound of the laser guns you hear in Star Wars. It's them taking a long spring and holding it out and smacking it with something and you hear the of the sound ricochet down the whole length of the spring. That's how they get that laser sounds in Star Wars. That's also how we use a spring in spring reverb. It's a similar idea. So tension is an algorithm that's sort of emulating how tight or loose the spring is. We'll see how that affects the sound in just a moment, okay? Next to that, we've got the number of springs. Inside a spring reverb, you can have just one spring. You can have more than just one spring. Here you've got options to choose the algorithm for one spring or more than one spring, all right? You have uh, high and low pass filters here at the very end that are uh, able to roll off the low end, roll off the high end, whatever you want. Next to that, you have the output gain, okay? How loud is the outcoming signal from spring reverb? We go down underneath here. So tank, small or large. So the uh, actual reverb unit, the hardware spring reverb unit, the thing that the spring is inside, it's called the tank. So how big is the tank? Is it big? Do you get lots of roomy reverbs or is it small? Do you get more like bathroom kinds of sounds and small room kinds of sounds? That's the tank, large and small. Underneath that tremolo, this comes with a built-in tremolo. Now, tremolo is different than vibrato. Variance in pitch is vibrato. Variance in loudness is tremolo. So vibrato, uh, badly imitated with my voice. Tremolo, also badly imitated with my voice. Uh, 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 uh. Variance in pitch is vibrato. Variance in loudness is tremolo. You learned something here today, ladies and gentlemen. So we have a built-in tremolo here, variance in loudness. You can turn up the intensity. How dramatic is the effect? Right next to that, the speed. How quickly does it oscillate between quiet and loud? Then you also have a modulation. It's kind of like an LFO. You kind of get this chorusy effect. So you can dial in how much of that chorusy effect you want. And the resonance also is how, how much of uh, the actual chorus itself that you're hearing as opposed to the reverb. Then right next to that, you've got the tempo sync for the uh, tremolo. Okay, if you want to lock it to the tempo of the host or you want it to set it to your own tempo or you just want it to set it to the uh, milliseconds that you want to have it echo. Then finally, all the way over here, here on the right, you've got the tap tempo for the tremolo there on the bottom. You've got a hot switch. Hot switch on these apps typically switches uh, is an instant switch between two presets. You set the preset you want at first, then you hold down hot switch and you choose another preset. Then you can go back and forth between the two of them. And then you have active. This turns on and off the whole dang thing, okay? At the very bottom, we've got this ribbon controller, okay? I will walk through how the ribbon controller works here now, and then we can go back and we can listen to how everything sounds, okay? So, I can take this ribbon controller, I can drag it to the left, I can drag it to the right. What does this darn thing do? Well, here, all of these knobs have a nice white dot on them. If I click this left-hand button here, and I move these knobs, I'm actually setting where the white dot is on each of these controls, as you can see. 
if I go and I click the other button here on the other side of the ribbon col controller, now I'm setting the blue dot and where that is. And if you haven't guessed by now, the ribbon controller morphs these controls. It moves from one side where the white dot is to the other side where the blue dot is and back and forth. So if I move now, you can see that the controls actively morph between two different settings. Okay, this side being the blue dot, that side being the white dot. It's a really cool feature and it's on all of Eventide's apps that they've released so far. So let's hear how this darn thing sounds. I'm gonna go back to factory presets and click default so we can get back to where we were. Here is my sound dry. <laughs> Electric piano, just like all my other videos, just to keep it consistent for you. Now, let's go and let's listen to how everything through spring sounds. All right, so what are we doing here? Let's talk through the verb mix. 100% wet. 100% dry. Now, I got to tell you a quick story. I have a soft spot for spring reverbs now. I used to love them, then I used to hate them, and then now I've loved them again. And this particular reverb it has a really nice sound. It's not too tinny. You can get that sound, but I fear that some of the, uh, or at least in my experience, some of the spring reverbs that I've used can have a real tinny, bright, metallic sound that I don't always want in a spring reverb. So, verb mix. Okay, so let's talk about decay. Now we've got a longer decay. Short decay, it goes away right away. Now I've turned the verb mix up so you can hear more of the reverb. Tension. So when the spring is slack, it dangles more. And so you hear it more like a delay wah, 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 with the repeats going on. Whereas if you turn the tension up, or make the spring tighter, you get more of that springy boingy sound. Somewhere in the middle is probably where you want a number of springs. So let's go back to one. There's three. Here's one. So it sounds a little fuller, okay, with most spring. So then you can roll off the bottom. Or roll it in, I should say. Roll it out. Low end. No low end. Uh, here it is back in. You can take out the high end. Bring back in the high end, okay? Go back to default. Okay, down on the bottom here, you have your intensity for your tremolo. Now, I can have the tremolo be before the reverb or after the reverb, pre as before and post is after. So here's pre, let's turn up the intensity. Okay, here's post. Okay, so there we go, there's that. Intensity, I can turn the speed up. I can turn the speed down. Okay, let's go back, I can do a large tank. Okay, the algorithm's a little different for the large tank. I'll leave it on small for now. Then here's the modulation. Now let's turn this down. Here you get that kind of chorusy. You can turn up the resonance or turn down the resonance. Okay, and then we've got the uh, ribbon controller on the bottom. So let's go to a, let's just pick a artist preset randomly. Uh, let's pick one, someone with some sweeps in it. Here we go. And let's sweep between them here with the... Uh... And you can use it just for a treble. Very nice, very nice. So, 
that is spring reverb i really like spring reverb i'm so sorry for the child screaming in the background because you know that's what happens when you're a parent and kids get angry and they throw a fit so you know sorry guys deal with it hope you like this video if you like spring reverb you should go check it out eventide's got a whole bunch of uh, apps and they're all in this same form factor and they all sound excellent so they get my recommendation and hopefully i get your recommendation too if you like the video please give it a thumbs up please go check me out on facebook please make sure you subscribe to the channel here on youtube if you like th these kinds of videos and you want to see more of that kind of stuff you can go visit me on the audio bus forum and see what i'm doing over there i'm also on instagram and i'm on twitter and all that kind of stuff even though i really spend my time on facebook and uh, you can always send me a message here directly if you really want to support me go check out my patreon page and you know pay me money and i'll make more videos like this and the production value will increase but thank you guys so much for your support thank you even time for sending me these apps they just keep getting better and better and better and i will see you guys next time later